there. Welcome back to our next episode in the Joe Knows series. I'm Kristen here at Sirius Software, and today I am joined by Joe Chanis. After all, he is the one who knows all about our topic. Joe, thanks for joining us now to share your offset experience particularly and shed some light on how control can fix a few of the challenges these businesses face. Hey, Kristen. Glad to be here. And offset is certainly something I know very well, having been in the offset world for over 30 years. I'm well aware of some of the unique challenges faced by commercial printers. Well, I can imagine that as many of these offset shops begin to offer wide format and digitally printed products, that the real challenge lies in maintaining two separate systems to price these very different products. And that's exactly right. Most shops are well versed in estimating their traditional offset jobs. Many may even be using an estimating program already. Unfortunately, virtually none of those programs are proficient in handling the wide format world. So Joe, what I understand you're saying is that with control, you'd only need one system to generate all of your estimates, orders, invoices, regardless of the printing process? You're right on the money. You already know how we handle the wide format in control. Let me show you in the program how we handle offset pricing. Let's take a look at an estimate we created for a trifold flyer. In the print type, you can predefine options. So, whether it be digital booklets, flyers, or letterheads, or in this case, we're looking at an offset flyer. Likewise, you could do offset business cards or booklets. So, here we have an offset flyer. Our quantity is 1,000, it's going to be two sided. Our finish size, 8.5 by 11. And then, what are we printing it on? Standard bond sheets, but again, in our drop down, we could have card stock, one time purchase for this job. And then the paper. What size paper are we using, or what paper type? In this case, we've chosen a 26 by 40 standard MAC gloss text as our parent sheet. And then, what are we doing to the job? On the front side, we're printing at four color process as well as a spot lamination. So you'll notice we've got a side one is five color. As we go to side two or the back, we're just doing a process color. In both cases, we're taking into account that there's a bleed. And we've got a five over four print job. If there were going to be additional spot colors, if there were going to be a different lamination, that can all be captured. We then look at what finishing options are we going to have. Here we've chosen folding and what type of folding are we going to do. It's being done on our auto feed Martin Yale folding machine and it's going to be trifold but it can be a bifold, a z-fold or again this is user definable so whatever options you do offer and we capture our folding price. And then again when the job's finished we're going to be shrink wrapping. We're doing it on the Shrink Master. Our film is the uh, 20 inch shrinking film. We're going to do 100 trifold flyers per package. So it's 10 total wraps, and our price for the shrink wrapping is $20.22. Now let's take a look at the details of the job, what's going on in the background. So this is our print information we've captured. Now on our press details, as a default, We've got it set so it's going to our Printmaster GTO 52 two color press. So the system is calculating. Number one, we look at our maximum sheet size on this press is 14 by 20, and maximum colors are two. Our parent sheets are 26 by 40, but the system is calculating what our run size is going to be, which is 13 by 20 for this job. If we opted to change to a different press, all these calculations will be redone. You'll notice we've already got a unit price of just shy of 50 cents per piece and just shy of $500 for the total job for the thousand pieces. If we were to go to our Heidelberg GTO, which is a 40 inch press, maximum sheet size changes to 27 by 40. Our pricing will change reflecting running it on the new press, as will our run sheets size and our total number of sheets out that we get. 
Now we're going to go back to our original choice, the GTO 52, and we'll click on Cutter Details. Now we're starting with a parent sheet of 26 by 40, which is then going to be cut down for our run size. So the system is calculating both our parent cutting and our run sheet cuts. And one of the real strengths within the system is on the fly you can calculate multiple quantities. It's very common for somebody to say, let me have a price on 1,000, 1,500, 2,500, and let's add 5,000 as well. We'll click on Calculate. And the system will give us our breakdown for pricing a unit price on 1,000, 1,500, 2,500, and 5,000. And just by checking the Show Grid on Estimate box, you can print that on the estimate you ultimately send to the customer. Click here on the Parts tab and want to point out with each of the selections we've made, Control is building our bill of materials. So here we're looking at all the elements that have gone into this job. Our cutting equipment, our Printmaster GTO, we're seeing two cuts because we have two cuts, the parent cut and the run size cut. And then our cut labor, our printing labor, our paper cost, and our ink for the folding, our machine runtime on the Martiniel, and the labor, and the same thing for the shrink master for the shrink wrapping. That's terrific, Joe. Really gives us a feel for the power of control and being able to handle everything in one place. Yeah, absolutely, Kristen. Having struggled for many years with how to quickly and accurately generate estimates, to be able to do so for both offset and wide format in one place is an incredible benefit. That's awesome. If you'd like to see how control can help your business specifically, schedule a personal demo with us. To get started, call 800-552-1418 or stay on the YouTube channel and look at some of our other videos, Serious Control.